So 3005, called the Low Intensity Test Reactor, originally was uh, constructed in the late 40s, around 1948. And it was actually a facility that was set up to start to do some hydraulic testing on the early days of the reactor. And then after the successful testing for the reactor, it transitioned to a training reactor. So it was originally called the Low Intensity Training Reactor, built to train folks how to operate a nuclear reactor back in the late 40s and early 50s. We've done 3010, demoed it. It was a reactor as well, but a different configuration. It was a you know, a pool you know, with two reactors inside of it. Pool work is one thing, but when you're dealing with having to remove a building to get to the reactor from that aspect, I don't think that's something that we've had to do yet. So the, the goal is to eliminate as much source term during deactivation as we can. So this first phase is removing, we've already removed the West Laboratory, the North Ancillary Facilities, that was a seal tank and a uh, filter house building. Later today, we'll be starting demo on the East Laboratory and kind of working around clockwise on the demo. Once we get those ancillary facilities removed, then we'll proceed with stripping the siding off of the high bay to allow us to remove the structural steel above the third floor. Third phase would be then to fail the shield block, grab the precast concrete, once we are at that point where we've removed the overhead hazard associated with precast concrete slabs, we'll have structural engineering and safety evaluate the remaining structure to allow us to re-enter the facility to do some reactor prep in anticipation of the reactor removal. The stability clamp is going around the expansion joint section on, in the middle of the reactor. At that point, we'll unbolt the reactor from the uh, second and first floors where, where it's connected there. We'll demolish the remainder of the facility, which is structural steel at this point. That will have the reactor then prepared to lift with the exception of where it's attached in the subpile room. At that point, we'll attach rigging to the top, then we'll go down and unbolt that bottom section lift the reactor, place it inside the waste container. We'll still have some subpile area clean out and fill with CLSM, but the project will be done at that point. It's important because the mission that we're conducting, not just for the Oak Ridge National Lab, but for Y12, uh, for our client, the Department of Energy, these facilities, they served their time, they did the nation a great service. They now need to be decommissioned, demolished, and removed to make way for future missions, for continuing the advancement of science. Footprint is very tight at the Oak Ridge National Lab, as it is at the Y-12 National Security Site. So in order for the, the Oak Ridge National Lab Office of Science to expand their mission, they need real estate. So these facilities, we need to clear these old facilities to allow that real estate to be used for future generations and the continuing advancement of science.